friends, here we are. Logic X Sampling School Lesson 2. Um, we'll get right into it. Uh, with the inception of linear style producing, and what I mean by linear is music you can see and move, uh, not like the old days, or even, let's say, about 10 years ago, where you had to make beats on, you know, things like the Triton and the MPC, and you didn't really have the ability to really see your music and move it and cut it intricately. Well, you could truncate it, but with this style of uh, producing, you can do whatever you want, whatever you think, uh, as long as you have the know-how. And we'll get into that over the course of all of these lessons. But today, we're going to go over one of those tools to be able to achieve what I'm talking about. And it's time stretching. And time stretching allows you to take a loop or a sample or what have you and change the tempo of it while keeping the pitch. So you can take something that's originally 120 BPMs and make it 90 with it keeping the same tonality and pitch but changing the tempo. So here we have three samples. Uh, the first one that I'll play is the original sample that I have at 89 beats per minute. Now this one is on uh, 89 beats per minute, so we won't be time stretching these. We'll be try <coughs> excuse me, we'll be time stretching the drama loop I have right here and the have mercy hi hat loop right here. So I'll just solo the the money loop right now. Okay, and the next one we have is the drama loop, and it's just a hi hat loop. No, it's a drum. It's a drum loop. I'm sorry. Now, I'll stretch this out so you can see that it's a little bit off on the two, and we want to bring it to the two. So, all we're going to do is hold Option. And you should see the, I don't know, the little bracket with the two speakers beside it. And you're just going to drag it to the two. And we're going to loop it all the way out like so. And I will watch this video in full screen and in 1080 so you can actually see it like it I'm looking at it on my screen uh, I think it'll be a little bit more helpful so these are these two samples together and we just um, time stretch the drama loop so you'll hear it on point with the original loop we have here okay now the last one is way off and um, just for shits I'll play it not time stretched then I'll play it time stretched in the correct timing so you can really see the difference here now with time stretch it again you can hold option you'll see the little speakers and you just drag it out to the three and for this to work, um, you have to know how to chop samples, uh, two bars, four bars, eight bars, 16 bars. So as long as it's cut correctly, you'll be able to do this. Um, if you don't know how to count bars or cut samples in the correct measure, um, I wouldn't be watching this video. I would go and find videos on how to correctly chop samples. Um, this is not even an advanced thing, but... Um, you would have to know that, <clears throat> excuse me, you wouldn't have to know how to correctly chop samples to be able to do this. So we'll loop this out as well. And you'll hear everything on time. And 
you're not limited to two or four bars when it comes to stretching. Uh, you can stretch any sample out as long as you want. So you're not limited to speeding it up or slowing it down. Like I'll slow this one down. So we'll stretch this out all the way to nine and you'll hear the difference. Uh, it's still going to keep the original pitch, but it's going to be a lot slower because we're stretching it out longer. Okay, and that's today's lesson. Um, it's Friday, so I'm keeping it short. Uh, again, I say this in every video. Make sure you pass this on. Um, hope you guys learned something. If you have any questions, leave them below. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace.